our women's champion, the only woman to have won this tournament five times, our number one seed and defending champion from Egypt, she's Noor El Shabini. Puts it away, looking more and more confident as this game has gone on. Oh! all over the court. Out. Is that a court? 11-7. Well, she won't come up against the better Nora El Shabini. I have to be honest with you, frustrating for Olivia Weaver. But Nora El Shabini up to her level three times to when they played at the US Open in Philadelphia. That was the perfection from Nora El Shabini. The first game between the two was of the highest order. And Weaver really matched her there. As soon as things started to open up slightly, Shabini was just lethal, as always. Not been totally convinced, have we, by maybe the physicality, certainly in the earlier, earlier rounds, which we think potentially a hangover effect from the epic matches she had in Florida. <laughs> I mean... Didn't take her long to find a range. Look at this. It's more than, a, than an elbow or something. It's, it's almost like it's just gone into spasm, isn't it? Yeah. When you, when it goes, it goes, and there's nothing you can do about it. She really can't bend. You see how upright she is. She can't bend. Her back's, her back's gone. This is an absolute nightmare. Oh, this, is, this is absolutely awful viewing. So sad. You can see she's trying to, she's trying to hold back the tears here as well as laughing. Well, at this stage, we're not sure whether she's coming back on um, to play or coming back on to shake the hand of her mammy. Looks like she's going to give it a go. From well, her mammy's point of view, she's just got to focus on what she's doing. She's in that kind of mindset where she is slightly irritable. And you can't be irritable about that from Shabini. I mean, that's just outrageous again. To go 2-1 up with a gigantic back spasm. I don't know how I won this match actually. I just uh, maybe I wasn't thinking anything near the squash. I'm just thinking on myself and my body. I don't know what happened after the first game. Uh, my back sudden, suddenly stopped uh, spasm in the whole back, so I couldn't twist left or right. I, didn't, I wasn't put in this situation before, to be honest, so I'm really surprised at how I played and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely happy to win this match. <laughs> she would have clipped or she been it. Shabini just trying to slow down again you can see not using much pace. Oh, that's clever. Oh. 
That was the error. 11-4, game to go on. Diaz staring deep into her father's eyes. You can see that there's a bit of frustration in yeah. there. It's errors, it's errors. She's, she's, it's uncharacteristic of Shabini to make so many errors they will in, in 30 games. Seconds. She's clearly frustrated by the space taken by Gohar. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that is very, very wow. clever. Watch the movement Flying. of Gohar here. Yeah. She sets off into the front right hand corner. The last second, Shabini just flicks the wrist. That's good width. The volley. Oh! That <laughs> I mean, she doesn't have a foot on the ground when she hits this Shabini. It looks like the Statue of Liberty <laughs> as she leans up and volley drops this. And all of a sudden, El Shabini serving now with five game balls to get back into this final. less about the squash and the tactics and more about the mental focus because it's a dogfight for every point. You cannot lose their way. It's got to be careful again the shot quality from Goha being penalised. And there it is. Along with her father in the crowd, you just saw the top Nine, of his head there. Four, what an unbelievable five, performance five, five, five. from the Warrior Princess. Completely out of sorts in the semi final against her mummy. She's done it again in the final. Hopefully, the backers will hold up after a little bit of treatment. Simply stunning from El Shabini. I don't think she can quite believe what she's done there. Standing ovation from the crowd.